Did you know that it is estimated that we make every single day 35,000 decisions? Some of them are small and insignificant, like will I eat the small or the larger chip first? But some of them are bigger and more important. And that's what's in view with the proverb that we're looking at today. That is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22, which reads, Without counsel, plans fail, but with many advisors, they succeed. So we're going to think a little bit more about that. But let's go for a walk while we do. Uh, but first, uh, I'd like us to consider a variety of reasons why we're slow to seek out or even to receive uh, counsel or advice from others. Uh, one of the reasons uh, is that we don't want others to know maybe how ignorant we are in some fronts. Uh, this is what Christians of old called fear of man. But that's just a foolish way of going about things because everybody has limitations. No one knows everything. But this can cripple us many times when it comes to making decisions. Another reason we don't ask is that we know that when it takes to asking other people, it can slow down the decision making. We get so caught up in thinking that many decisions need to have an immediate outcome uh, that we cast off those things that are actually pretty important and that we might miss some necessary details which come about when we ask others for advice or counsel. Uh, another reason uh, is summed up in this little phrase I heard just as I was leaving the house and one of the podcasts I was listening to. Only you know what is best for you. Uh, it sums up neatly, doesn't it, this feeling many people have. If you haven't walked in my shoes, you haven't lived the life I lived, then who are you to tell me what to do? But that uh, forgets that sometimes an outside eye might have a better view or that other people have lived similar lives to us that we're not as different as we like to think at points uh, and sometimes we just have to admit that we don't want to hear from others because we know the choices we're making are uh, unhealthy unwise and sometimes just plain wrong and we don't want to hear others to tell us that it's probably important at this point to note that proverbs aren't ironclad promises. No, they're meant to be condensed nuggets of wisdom. Uh, so they're not trying to say everything, but they are trying to say something. And that message is, our plans will fail if we try to make them by ourselves. You see, the message that we've seen throughout proverbs is that we are finite, we are limited. Uh, this wisdom always begins at the fear of the Lord, when we recognise that he alone is God. He alone knows everything. So when we make our decisions, we are encouraged to seek the wisdom of others. Because while we might have a keen insight, we don't have full sight on anything. Uh, and actually, when we draw in others, we get different pictures, different views. Now, not everything we hear is going to be right or correct or even helpful. But we should weigh up everything that we hear because it can prove beneficial to the decisions that we need to make. It's the same when we're reading the Bible. So, for example, I don't have all these books up here behind me just so I can show off for these videos. No. They're to help me to uh, read the Bible better, to give me insights that I might not have or ever have. Uh, they're there to help me. Uh, and that's what we're seeing here. Uh, our plans won't always go well because we've talked to other people. But they're going to go better. Uh, and that's what this proverb is trying to encourage us to do. Uh, not to think we know more than anyone else. But to seek out the wisdom that other people have that has been given to them by God for the benefit of one another. So, let's seek out wisdom from, from one another 
not relying entirely on ourselves, but trusting that others can help us. Just for this week, we're not going to have uh, an interview, but God willing, it'll be back by next week. In light of what we've seen from the proverb today, it might be good to pray that we wouldn't be stubborn or hard-hearted uh, to the wisdom of others. Actually, in fact, instead of just listening, that we might seek out the counsel and advice of those we trust, uh, those who we know care for us. Uh, and that also we would not uh, foster a culture of independence, but of interdependence, recognising that we are all together able to help one another as we seek to live lives of godliness to the glory of our Father.